In summary, we started with the landscape lens templates again and added two new elements in front of the stop. We guessed at initial values for these two lenses. Because there's power in front of the stop surface, the entrance pupil and the stop surface aperture are no longer the same thing. So we used entrance pupil diameter as the aperture definition and we turned on ray aiming to account for pupil aberrations and ensure that the stop is correctly illuminated. We set a glass substitution template and used the hammer optimizer to find the best lens shapes and glasses for this application. Good news! We met our specification. The aberrations introduced by each surface balance with each other to give a low system sum. This is the value of aberrations. They give you a language to describe the performance of the lens and to decide what to do if you need to improve performance. Don't optimize directly for aberrations. Let the optimizer balance the aberrations as necessary to give the best spot size across the aperture, field of view and wavelength range of the design.